the volume so far. It's a new game, so. Honestly, don't know. What I know about this game is that you're a barista, you make great coffee, and uh, you hear people's stories? Yeah. Um, whoops. Uh, no. Change it. Um, what my name gonna be? Uh, Tay. Okay. Confirm. A little loud? Okay. Is that better? Oh, also, another reason I wanted to play this game was because it's set in Seattle, uh, which is in Washington, where I'm from, so. A little cool thing. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> have the dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. Dang, that's uh, depressing. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. Okay, okay, okay. So it's like a fantasy-ish setting, I guess. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. <laughs> and when humans live among them, as driven as ever. Okay, okay, okay. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. Strangers, that's me. That's my memories, haha. <laughs> in one corner of the city stands a coffee shop, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. <laughs> Gotta love diversity over here. Ooh, like the, the chill music with the sound of rain. I'm loving this vibe. Tuesday, September 22nd of 2020. Do I have to pay attention to dates? For the story to make sense, or oh, well, oh, it's you. <laughs> hey Tay, how's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So, I'm used to taking things slow. <laughs> writer's block- <laughs> Writer's block again? You got that, right? What are you writing now? 
You remember my plan to... Ah. Uh, pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. <laughs> Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say it's just three things of coffee, but uh... Just in case. Oh, this is the only thing I have? Well, I have espresso, but it's not triple shot. Uh, does that count? I'll say sure. So then it's just coffee, coffee, coffee. Okay, how do I use this thing? Is that it? Do I do anything else? I don't know how to use this! I'm gonna say yeah, okay. I made a triple shot espresso. Serve it! Uh, <laughs> one cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Mmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? You're planning to do something? Yes, that! It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes! It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes! And they are also THE biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it! What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> We're just staring at each other right now. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So, how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So, he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh... <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well... It was so bad that, well, after reading it... I decided to just delete everything immediately. So... Zero. <sighs> yes. I really need to finish it in at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Oh, hello. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. 
Good evening. We're here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. <laughs> Pray as me when writing papers. You write. <laughs> uh, not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in it, please. Anything with chocolate in it? Uh, recipes. Uh. <laughs> it, dark chocolate. Okay, there we go. It's chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Tutter. Brew it. Easy money. Dude, being a barista is easy. What? <laughs> Serve it. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. Dang, now I want hot chocolate. <laughs> so warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded, considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. <laughs> because it's the only coffee shop that's still open past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. But how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Tay here is damn rich. That's the secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Tay can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find her uh, some of her stories in the Evening Whispers. Shut up! <laughs> wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Oh, someone else. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm, surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on top. Wait, latte art? Uh-oh, <laughs> uh this is about to go terribly. I got a cappuccino with coffee, coffee, and milk. Okay, let's do that one. Coffee, coffee, and milk. Brew it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for thanks for that. Yeah, definitely a voice actor. Uh, latte art. How do I do this? 
Move cursor. Pour milk. Rotate cup. Uh, oh, cursor. Got it. Pour milk. Rotate cup. CR. Okay. <laughs> oh. Look at that. I made a circle. <laughs> uh. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it now. Eh. How's that? It looks kind of like a sun. <laughs> Latte art strong. What is etch? Etch. Oh, etch. Oh, okay, cool. I am making this look atrocious. It's fine. It's my first time. There. How does that look? <laughs> it's a it's a a star. <laughs> Um, how do I serve you? Uh, A. There we go. Here's your order. <laughs> Is this what you call latte art? Bruh! Bruh! I tried my best! <laughs> Instantly insulted! Wow. Okay, sure. That's cute. Just drink your freaking latte. Shut the fuck up. Perfect. Oh, so it tastes great. Fine, whatever. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. Baileys? Like, the alcohol. <laughs> I was having a nice chat with them. Oh, yeah. I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh, my. Where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Tay. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you're in contact with Steve. Who's Steve? What? Yep. He's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? Dun, dun, dun. No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. Wow, okay, sure. <laughs> how do you usually deal with bad customers that are here? The only bad customers this late at night are the lost drunks or criminals. Wow, that sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. I am a badass? Secretly? <laughs> Not as good as your coffee making skill, though. Thank you. I'll uh, take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is I'm gonna write. So, I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, bye, Freya. <laughs> Bailey's, your shirt kind of looks like a Bailey's label, too. Is that intentional? <laughs> 
uh, sorry, got distracted. Should we move our other seats too? Uh, nah, here's good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today, he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one's a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should, act, you should ask Tay here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with an annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fist to take care of. I do have my own methods, but it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now, that's one good lesson to hear for the day. No, oh, the phone's vibrating and my my controller's vibrating. That scared me. <laughs> oh my god. You gonna answer that or uh, ignore it? Uh, your parents? Yes. Mm, so, you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. Mm, uncomfortable silence. They won't give us a chance at all? Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The visual change. Her phone case, it has horns, <laughs> like she does. <laughs> they kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still. You don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. <gasps> this racist! There's racism! My god! Forget it. I wanna know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures, about our immortality, about he how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me? No other elves would want to be with an elf? that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus? <laughs> that's exactly what they said. He looks so angry, his eyebrows. So this is it then, the end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been, without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. Bro, ooh, this is like, it's got crazy so fast. This is already into like, a bunch of racist shit. What the? You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. 
my god. Please, just be together. I'm already like, this couple, I love them. Please. <laughs> I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Oh, wait. Wait, no, don't run away. You guys have to stay together, no. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's all right. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. Oh no, how do I make a green tea latte? Duh. It's probably green tea and like milk. Green tea, milk, milk. Okay, yeah. This is green tea. Milk, milk. Brew it. Do green tea lattes. Sounds amazing. Let's make a latte art. Um, where's my cursor? Oh, here I am. Um, okay, so let's see. How do I do this? Pour milk. <laughs> I'm trying to go for like a leaf shape here. And then etch it. And pull it in. Eh. Uh -huh. This is so hard. There. Does that look like leaf light? pretty leaf-like. Thank you. Serve it. <laughs> Here's your green tea latte. Big ol' sipper. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? <laughs> Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can, if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man said. He really is one, of, one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I just go now and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. Dang, started out with racial problems already, like, dang. Okay, I'm so into this game. <laughs> this is great. Right? Oh, why do you look so sad? <laughs> oh, man. You were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm gonna close up the shop after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay. You have a good night then. You too. Bye, Freya. <laughs> Her face so low. Whoa, is that tea? 
perseniman. Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. Oh my god, there's a paper. <laughs> the, the evening whispers. Hey, it's free of charge. That's cool. Zombie virus from Africa may re have reached Seattle. Coronavirus? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, Seattle groceries distribution problems harm local restaurants. Okay. Fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. Ooh, illegal immigration issues too. Oh boy, this is some juicy stuff. All right, let's start today. I love all the sounds of this. Good evening! Good gracious! What's wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry. But I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what I'm, I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive, temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me, what are you gonna write about? This coffee shop. What? I'm gonna write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Are you for real? Yes! What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. That's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know? Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novel versus movie level loosely based. That person has a tail. The person that walked by the window. Oh, good luck taking pictures. I tried today, or tonight, and it was cloudy, so I had got no stars. Uh, the old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know? You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although, you could just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. The look of betrayal. <laughs> what? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see who's gonna come in tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Uh, ding ding. Oh, police officer. Georgie. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Tay. No need to be that formal with me. <laughs> We're both on duty here. Hence, the formalities. You're as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have shift tonight. So, I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea. I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee, with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your Tomodachi profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway. A cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Sweet, uh huh? <laughs> sweet coffee with no milk. Uh, coffee. Uh, nope, don't have milk in it. Where? Tea, green tea latte, chocolate. Where? 
How do I do this? Do I just put honey then? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> asking for this is confusing coffee with a hint of sweetness <laughs> okay try this snow milk honey coffee serve it coffee with honey for the man on duty not everyone can manage this combination as well as you thank you by the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with the service like you gave the old pop, pop, pop here, please. What are you having? It's too late to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. That's uh, coffee, 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 right? I remembered. It's like it's, it's not that hard to remember either, but I did it. A starless night sky for the green-haired fairy. I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. This is perfect. So, how's everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual, awful. Smoking. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. His face! <laughs> Dude, yeah. I like can't take nice pictures. All of my pictures end up slightly blurry. But, yeah. Not that much. Folks, seriously. Care to share the details properly? You tell him. She's secretly using her working hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. She, thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. <laughs> Joy, yeah. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes this up, though. Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Tay said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published by her parent company. Anyway, so technically I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. Wait, is stealing time a crime? Technically. I might have to arrest you. <laughs> These facial expressions are so good. <laughs> hey, you do it all the time too. You, those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to. But still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. <laughs> Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your riding career goes up in flames, the police folks is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. There's no mention that you like to do other things during working hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. 
Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What will it be about? A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. You letting her do that? There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write about any shady looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop near their post. <laughs> I will definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. Was that a compliment or are you making fun of me, eh? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? Tay is probably worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. And I'll dramatize most of the things I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be an inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No. Come on! Nope. No, no, no. You helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. What? Yeah. Now it's my turn to say, come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose with him. Oh yeah, that guy. Yes, poor guy. Heard about your girlfriend passing during investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard. But at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper? I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he'd become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose has become some sort of prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me! Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. But she has bright green hair. Oh, come on! I was so excited to, be at, to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Hey, come on, cheer up, girl. Ugh, sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Um, because I spend a lot of my time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the, co the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form countless times before, but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her co-workers, or clients. Helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Hmm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. 
Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay then. See you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. Bye. I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with that writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. <laughs> Ooh, you're just the best, Tay. Hey? You're welcome. Okay, off to the world of imagination I go. Go on. Hmm. What should do for the experiment? What? Experiment? What? What am I doing? Ah, someone's coming. Oh my gosh. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Oh my god, I need a voice. Uh, <laughs> uh. Hi, Tay. I don't know for now. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Who's that? Scary lady. Hmm, this is the place you've recommended. You don't like it? It's fine. I don't know, it's not the coffee shops you're used to in LA, but. Gala, it's fine. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. But coffee and ginger? Huh? What is this man on about? Yeah. Coffee and ginger? Do I just put ginger instead of... Uh, I don't know. I just put, like, coffee... Coffee and ginger. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Bro, what? Ha? 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 Is that a thing? Is that an actual drink? Serve it. <laughs> Your order is ready, sir. What's on his arms and face? It's like he has band aids all over him. You get into fights a lot, dude? <laughs> My mom said, give him a British accent. How do I do that? Oh, gosh. Uh, uh. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. Dive and make the same thing again! Uh, copy, copy, ginger. No, whatever this is! Someone look it up! Is this a real drink? <laughs> I'm looking it up right now, actually. I'm super curious. Ja. He. Tubruk. Yeah, Indonesian coffee with ginger. Mm, okay. I guess it is a thing. Interesting. I wonder if it tastes good. Time to look it up. Uh, here's your order. Completely distracted by whatever this drink is. Hmm. Good choice. Anyway, how's town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things change a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop. I believe this was a bar back then. A bar. When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, mister. Six years ago. Hide! <laughs> like Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> 
My name is Hyde. From what I've gathered, you're from LA, right? I am. I used to live there decades ago, though. What brings you to back to Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. Travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other a long time, I assume. You could say that. Yeah, I think we met not not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken. Peace Treaty Between Werewolves and Vampires was signed in... 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s? <laughs> what? <laughs> the side eye. <laughs> <laughs> no, we met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards, but not that old. Although, it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. Guess 20 years is a long time. 20 years? Oh my god. This, this was the place, wasn't it? When we first met. Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved? Bankrupt. Ah, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh. You're happy the bar closed down? What's with the smile, if you don't mind? That little, little smirk you got going on there. I, I see you. I'm looking at you. <laughs> Nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You've got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Is he at work? Kinda. With the news about the newfound virus going viral. Haha. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> the hospital has been extremely crowded. Oh, I didn't even realize what he was wearing scrubs. Durr, 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 durr. <laughs> is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that. But most people who come in are just... I don't want to use this word. But they're, par they're just paranoid. Sounds about right. Yeah. You're doing the same job in the same hospital? What was it called? Admission officer? And yes, I'm still a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. Heh. <laughs> to each their own. Dude, the tiny smile. <laughs> anyway, I was wondering, do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although, people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just order through that blood marketplace app. Are you talking about Bloodlust? Uh-huh. Bloodlust gets their supply from the hospital? They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals and the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. You use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? He went, VEGAN? Just like me. <laughs> but I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah, how's your vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Excuse me for asking, but going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Synthetic blood? It'd be too complicated to explain, but basically some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood taste good if mixed with other ingredients? 
Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? It might attract new customers and turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although some do try experimenting with other things. Other things? Mostly booze. But I know some mix it with not so legal substances. (laughs) Add ginger. (laughs) You know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly fur, fur, fury, fury, (laughs) fanula. Found a less painful method to restrain yourself? Not yet. But I do know that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Ginger! Start adding ginger to everything now. Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities, but this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be the remedy. Why don't you use the Fury sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, that sedative is too... general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least your common method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to do... Kinky stuff. (laughs) To soothe themselves during their fear. (laughs) Kinky stuff. (laughs) What kind of kinky? Like BDSM? (laughs) That only happens in porn. (laughs) Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know? (laughs) Hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty common, but normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal during doing bondage stuff during the fury. (laughs) Exactly. So, continuing with your story. How far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? Just back on topic here. We had a little sidetrack. <laughs> so far, all I know is it involves ginger. Just eat a stick of ginger. And probably something likely caffeinated. Ah, have you heard of yerba mate? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like tea, maybe. Ginger tea? You better write that down. Whoops, add a button. You don't want them wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today. For the next time you're visiting. Maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Ah, the phone vibrating makes my controller vibrate. Ah, <laughs> excuse me for a moment. That, that. While staring at him. As he's checking his phone. I'm sorry. I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. Alright. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care on your way home. Do people actually pay here? Or do I just give them free drinks? Like... What? Hey! Are you done with your writing for today? Kinda. Those two guys. Kinda reminds me of this video I saw online. I'd prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video did did you think I was talking about? You know... Uh, never mind. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> he, 
<laughs> you. I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. Me? Bad at jokes? Let me tell you some really good jokes. No. Now's not the time for terrible puns. Um, anyway, it was a pretty interesting and productive night. But now, I need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. And that goes for all of you watching right now. Stay hydrated. Get lots of sleep. Speaking of hydration. Ugh, okay. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't worry. I'll be here tomorrow. Night night. Be careful on your way back. Wee. A ginger latte. Warm energy boost perfect for a cold evening. Press any button. How do I unlock more recipes? I'd really like to know, because I, I have a bunch of unknowns. Thursday, September 24th. 2020. Ah, oh, the evening whispers. Despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Vlogging is now part of curriculum at some private high school. <laughs> Bruh, what? <laughs> Top workplace racial profiling the Orkish Workers Union demands. Ooh, racial issues. Oh boy. Start the day. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Welcome. Yo. Cup of honey milk, please. Right away. Cup of honey milk. Uh, is that just like milk and honey? How much milk though? <laughs> How much honey? I need to get rid of all of these. It's driving me insane. There we go. <sighs> Cleared. What is this? I haven't looked at this at all. Oh! Profiles. Uh, birthday, the first of June. Lactose intolerant cop. <laughs> Jella. There's nothing about him. He likes cats? Lua. Second of October. Huh? That's a different language. Votre ame est un passage chossi. Nope. Bailey's. Number one pumpkin spice fan. <laughs> uh. And then hide. Vegan vampire. Professional model. Cool. What's this? Oh, no, that's still just paper. Cool. What's this? Oh, it's my iTunes. Or my, uh, da 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 Spotify. I can change the music in the game. Wow. Cool. Okay, I got distracted. Well, what did she want? <laughs> Completely forgotten. Uh, a cup of honey milk. Okay. Milk. Milk with honey. Honey milk. Ta-da! Serve it. Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. You waiting for somebody or? Uh... It's Freya. Hey Tay. Seems like there's a cat. Kitty. Oh my gosh, she got it with me. Relax. It's okay. Hey kitty cat. What are you looking for? Want some milk? Bah! <laughs> what? <laughs> What the freak? I was not expecting that. Hi, barista. Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy! <laughs> you look like you've just seen a ghost. No, I mean... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. 
It's been a while since the last time I saw a Neko, Neko Mimi transforming. We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Neko Mimi friends. I won't say I have. You folks usually use your feel like born to commute. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical than commuting as a I mean, and commuting in bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Ah, I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? No, milk and nothing else. Look at her little beret she's got going on. Cute! Just milk. I'm, sh I'm heating up milk for her. There you go. Have a cup of warm milk. Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? I'm just giving her a compliment. Thank you for this compliment. It's really good. You're welcome. What's a young girl like you doing alone in this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. That's what a child would say. Err, you don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what I'd call too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Uh, I don't. Oh my, are you? Just say it. If this is something illegal, or if you're in danger, blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously. You never seen me on TV or social media? I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. Pfft, snob. Part of the broke but woke movement, I see. You must be the broke part. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What, too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> She's not that great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder. Could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? So, uh, what do you want to order? The usual. Coffee, coffee, coffee. <laughs> coffee, 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 coffee. <laughs> Ding! Coffee! <laughs> Your special is ready. Hmm, good as usual. Glad you like it. Wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Florencia? A member of Super Smiles who just graduated? and started her solo career? Uh-huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings me back, that brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk? I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less. Yay, achievement unlocked. And then I get a little achievement unlocked banner. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, seriously. Why are you here? Well, you know, the usual young folks' problems. I had a fight with my father. And so, here I am. Ah, I see. 
but is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone in this this late? You don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. Now I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad, we got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? Uh oh. Oh no, tragic backstory! She passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. But, oh my god, it's getting so crowded in here. More people are showing up. Oh my god. Hey, it's Georgie. Good evening, Tay. Good evening, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. <laughs> just kidding, Freya. Anyway, T. Yes, officer? I need something for my sore throat. Could you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Sure, fingerito. Green tea with lemon and honey. Brew it. Ding ding, cough syrup. <laughs> I just made straight up cough syrup. <laughs> Your special drink is ready. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Uh, cough syrup. <laughs> of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Judgment time! Damn! This is great. <laughs> How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? There's so many people here! Yeah! <laughs> Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my ship today. Tell me! Tell me! You sure you want to hear it? Yes! The scary thing I witnessed was... My salary. Seriously? Yeah, today is payday. And I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that, and the labor union protest, everything's fine though. How can you say it's fine? You've got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey. Hey, what's up? Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. I don't even know that person's name. But there you go. What did she order? Milk and honey? I don't remember. I don't remember. Who the hell is that? She just sat there and read. I'm pretty sure that's normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that here when you're wait when you're writing. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. And this place looked cozy. I see. So, you basically want to go to a bar, but you're underage, right? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Do you mean mine now, old man? I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here, but everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. 
It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. Oh no, I have to sneeze. Is. <laughs> oh. He is a cop. That is exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so upset. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course. This is the safest place around here. Thanks. Hey, that endorsement come with a discount, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm giving everybody drinks for free right now, like... Uh, what? Don't look at me that way. <laughs> Their facial expressions are great. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. <laughs> I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know when to handle someone else's daughter? <laughs> you should know! You're a father yourself! Oh. Right. Guys. You know I can hear you, right? <laughs> She's just sitting there in the center like, um... So about that. <laughs> really? See, Fran? She has good hearing. That should help her protect herself. Anyway, Miss... Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finished arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. And they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one amongst countless others. He wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean, before your solo career? <clears throat> no, before mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Hmm, nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy, but you gotta understand each other better. As much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone. Even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She was the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments, but your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's... possible. But now that Mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this happens a lot. Why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. Use my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. <laughs> In any relationship. I kinda understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even farther. 
I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say, I'm an adult. Just give yourself, just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now. Now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But. You don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least no one you're safe home will give him some peace. <clears throat> that will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Neko Town. Oh, that's quite far. You're still gonna drive me home, right? Oh man. Of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Tay and Freya. She winked! She, she, she winked! Ah! Take care on your way home. See you around, Tay. Bye! And there they went. Yes. You can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the riding, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Apparently made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows, maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know, I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door's always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay then, take care. Be careful on your way home. <laughs> oh, my nose is just a lot. I might need to sneeze again. Bedchamber. A cup for those longing for a deep slumber. <laughs> oh, wow. It's Friday now. Yes, I keep track of dates. Yep, yeah, it's Friday, September 25th of 2020. Let's go! Ah, the evening whispers. Werewolf activist imprisoned for owning illegal fury sedative. <sighs> the Orcish Workers Union in talks with the government over their pleas. Oh, that's good, that's good. Rap group Street Orcst Orchestra. Haha, <laughs> I see what you did there. Um, questioned over their pyro ecoterrorism lyrics. Or their pro ecoterrorism lyrics. What? Oh my god. Okay, cool. Alright. Press Y. Oh, hey, look, he updated it. Favorite things. Movies. Police University Cop Story Ro Robert Cop. What I'm doing with my life. Father of three beautiful girls. Whoa, three. Wow. Anything else? Oh, Rachel. Cute. Contact Rachel at x.com for business inquiries. Dang. Look, I'm not even, like, close friends with them. But 
I'm super close with Georgie. That's why I get to see that stuff. I get a new recipe? Cop syrup. That's it. Cool. Oh, good evening, Mr. Hyde. Evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Gal is coming. After his shift. Hmm. It's pretty empty here. You're our first customer tonight. <laughs> um, is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange you say our. When obviously, there's only you here. Oh. I guess it's just me when I'm working. I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? Hmm. Do you have any blood? Uh, sorry, sir, but we don't. Did, do, do they? Wait. Rachel's birthday is... February 29th. January 29th, not the same birthday. <laughs> Come on, did you think I was serious? Oh. Eh, give me ginger green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. Ginger green tea! What is this? That's just tea. Green tea. Ginger. Brew it. Is this how you make ginger green tea? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Here's your ginger green tea. Let's see. Hmm. Not enough. Excuse me? It's not warm or bitter enough. I'm sorry. Forget it. It's not bad. But definitely not enough. By the way, if you don't mind me asking, ask away. You said you're here for work? Yes. For a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? Hell no. Could never imagine myself doing something so... Hmm. What's the word? Something as honorable as that. Hmm? Then are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal. In case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job, per se, but definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital. Then what is it? Yes. You travel a lot? More or less. You befriended a startup founder? So I assume you either have your own startup, or you work at some kind of investment agency. <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then, what do you do? I know, I know, I looked at his profile. <laughs> I cheated. <laughs> I've had many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. So right now, I'm a model. I didn't expect that. But you have the looks and the figure. So, I guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? Sure. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products? No way! Vampire models. We are naturally good looking. Skin paler than an elf's. But we don't have those annoying pointing ears. Which makes us basically a bunch of good looking living mannequins. How better to advertise anti-aging products than with people who naturally don't age? Wow, that's, that's just cheating! Isn't that false advertising? <laughs> Don't be naive. The truth is a matter of truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertising is just framing the truth. I never thought of it that way. How long have you been modeling? Well, not long. Not much more than thirty years. Wow. <laughs> thirty years? Oh my god. Oh hey Freya. Good evening. Can you please be a little quieter? There's just another customer here. Act like a civilized person. If you can. Oh, come on. 
I'm just trying to make this place a little livelier. You don't mind, right, sir? No, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure I saw you last time I was here. You bet. You could say I'm a regular here. Hence the attitude. Hey! You look very happy. Any special occasion? Nah, nothing. This is my default state. She only has two states. Either extreme excitement or super stressed. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, what were you talking about? We are talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what is your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy shit, 30 years of modeling? That's a long time. Not for me. My current liaison in the clothing brand I work uh, my current liaison in the clothing brand I work with is the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Usually, I work it until it's the grandchild. That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. How's the writing so far? It's okay, but I'm stuck and in need of a warm drink. So, uh, brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah. I had to take it slow tonight. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee. Warm and sweet without coffee. Ugh. Whoa, update. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Old enough yet still seeking the truth and purpose of life. <laughs> something warm and sweet without coffee. No coffee, got it. Dark chocolate? Let's make our dark chocolate. Why not? Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. chocolate. Trash it. Oh, uh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Chocolate. How do I make it sweeter? This is hard. I don't understand. Oh, hey! Yeah, life. I love this game so far. Super chill. How do I know it's sweet? Uh, warm and sweet, warm and sweet. It's not sweet at all, but it's not warm at all. Do this. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I need more coffee recipes. Yeah, sure, have this. Uh, here you go. <laughs> Warm and sweet. <laughs> um, anything wrong? It's not bad. It's not warm or sweet enough. But don't worry about it. I don't know recipes. <laughs> Uh, fine, whatever. Yeah, I work for the Evening Whispers. But I'm also working on my own novel right now. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> ah, she's... Sorry. Duh. Sounds interesting. What kind of novel are you writing? Uh, it's complicated. You should wait until she finishes it. Yeah, no spoilers! That's if she ever manages to finish it. Yeah, that too. What's the genre? 
slice of life. So, not fantasy or sci-fi. Hmm, I'm still not sure. Probably, it'll be normal slice of life. <laughs> You'll have tough competition. You're not wrong. I'll probably put some surreal elements in there. Maybe I'll set it in a world where only humans exist. Heh, <laughs> sounds a bit racist. That's the twist! This isn't about racial supremacy. I imagine, even in a world where only one race exists, problems will still appear anyways. Discrimination and racism, racism will still happen. How can they be racist without other races? Differences in language, nationality, ideology, or even skin color. When everything's the same, the smallest differences will stand out. Perhaps it's diversity that can teach us to look past the differences. The bottom line is, we'll always find a way to hate others. Damn. Deep. I assure you of that. That <laughs> doesn't really sound all that funny. Hey, it's, all, it's fantasy. That's what fiction's for anyways. Painting the what ifs. <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here to have it signed. Aw, thank you. Hello? Get us! Oh, hey! It's Lua! Hi, everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hi there. How's it going? Great, thanks. Lua, please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, please meet Lua. Hi. Are you by yourself? Yeah, just finished a meeting. I need to escape from my co-workers. So I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey coming? No, the phone vibrating. No, oh, he's not. He's a freelancer, remember? He's free to do whatever he wants. Is everything okay? That was an angry look. To be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. Oh. We shall fix that with a warm drink then. Good idea, thanks. I'm in the mood for a green tea latte. Green tea latte? Is there a problem? No, it's nothing, sorry. Then a cup of green tea latte, please. How do I make that? Uh, green tea, green tea, no. uh, green tea, milk, milk. Okay. Wait, do I put latte art on it? I don't know. Sure, why not? Latte art. Attempt number three on doing latte art. Oh, never mind. I had a wrong button. Oh, your latte is ready. Thank you. I don't know why, but I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte. Like, this drink feels really heartwarming. Call me pretentious, but I think drinks have the power to connect people's hearts. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. By the way, about Bailey's. Has he visited this place again? After our last meeting? Not that I know of. He hasn't. Nah, stop, duh! Pick up your phone! Oh. I should apologize for the commotion we caused. Who holds their phone like this close to their face? <laughs> My god, Hyde. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, please don't worry about that. Who is this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? Uh, silence! Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh. Bailey sis. Or was. I don't know. 
my boyfriend. We had a little fight a few days ago. About what? Is it okay for him to just ask her this like that? You tell me. Dude, I'm just a customer. You're the owner of this place. It's an old problem. I'm a succubus and he's an elf. Hmm. The usual racial problems then. Her face! <laughs> Show some manners, old man! What? I'm just following up on the questions you started. It's alright. Bailey's and I have different views on the importance of family. My family's pretty close, and usually they're supportive. But when it comes to dating an elf, they fear that I'll be treated like a... like a peasant. Bailey's, on the other hand, he comes from a well-respected elven family. They can be cagey at times. I get it. But for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising that his family would disagree with him on the relationship. You don't sound like most succubi I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with this? He said we should just keep going. Just the same as we've been for the last 10 years. So you've been together for 10 years as a couple. And he's suggesting that both of you should just go on as usual. I mean, your relationship for the past 10 years. That was without familiar approval, right? Well, yes. But I want a relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? No, quite the opposite. He wanted to marry me. What's the problem then? It's not that simple. His family will disown him? Yes. He wants to marry you, even if he has to leave his family. Yes. Problem solved then. Why do you have to care so much about what his or your family thinks? Just marry him, make a family of your own. It's not that simple. I don't want to be held responsible if he regrets his decision one day. Abandoning one's family is not a solution. <laughs> Freya's face in the center is just like, oh my god, I'm caught in the center of this. <laughs> this is great. What if marrying me is a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. I can't let him make that sacrifice. Lua. <laughs> Did you ever think about the risks when you started dating him? Yes. No. Maybe a little bit. We didn't think you would get this far. <laughs> From what I can see, you're the problem here. You're pretty greedy for wanting it all. Him? Family approval? If you're asking for rac racial reconciliation, might as well ask for world peace. Oh man, stop talking. Lua, if I may ask, do you want to marry Bailey's? I love him. Of course I do. Even so, I can't let him leave his family for me. It'd be selfish. So pick up your phone! <laughs> because I can't do the same for him. I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well, that's difficult. So you're forcing your boyfriend to have the same life as you have. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not every family is worth fighting for, you know. Some are. Not his. Have you ever met Bailey's family? No. They always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. Can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a story where some fairy godmother will suddenly appear and grant your wishes. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices. And you choose which one is the best for you. Pretty simple. Hi. Freya's still in the center, just like, um, um. I'm sorry, I have to leave. I hate to be the girl who's only runs away. But thank you for the advice. Take care on your way, Miss Lua. I will. Bye. 
Uh, whoopsies, I got a little whoop. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> You're super harsh, old man. <laughs> but you agree with me, don't you? Well... You didn't have to say it so harshly, you know. What are you doing here by yourself, anyway? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting for a friend. Friend? Oh, there he is. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm fine. Your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. What'd you do this time, Hyde? Next time we see them, they should be become best couple, engaged, or I'm quitting the game. No kidding. <laughs> State facts. Harshly. Someone that needed it. But not the way you said it. Let me order a drink first. Then you folks tell me about what happened. What are you having this evening, sir? Do you remember my fury remedy? I mentioned it a couple days ago. The one with ginger and caffeine? Yes. Can you help me try to figure out what it is? Sure. Should I try mixing the ginger with tea? Yes. Tea, ginger, and I'm still not sure what the last one might be. Okay, I'll try experimenting with it. You'll know when you get it right. Uh, tea, ginger, and milk? I'm just gonna start experimenting with things. Ginger and honey, how about that? Is it supposed to say something? Ginger honey tea. I don't know. Trash it! Nah! How do I know if I get it right? Hey look, I'm best friends with Lua. Her favorite things is lover of the bright moonlight believer in a life without fight. Big fan of art and poetry. She's working a 9 to 5 and trainer coming by day, going to poetry readings and museums on the weekend, and raptured by the forbidden fruit. Okay then, sure. I have no tea recipes. That's cool. How do I know if it's right? Is there like a, a secret like, oh, ding ding ding, you got it right, or I don't know. Anyone have any ideas? Try again. Tea. I'm just brewing a bunch of stuff now. I don't know. <laughs> Ginger milk tea. That doesn't sound right either. chances do I have? I forgot to look. Well, uh, that looks right. <laughs> right? It has his name in it. Yes? Question mark. Uh, Zard. Yes, I'm gonna go with yes. It has his name in it, so there has to be it, right? I 
I'm so going to serve it. Oh boy, here we go. Am I going to be 0 for 3 today on drinks? <laughs> Thank you, Tay. Hmm. This might be it. <gasps> Are you sure? <laughs> Did I do something right? <laughs> Are you sure? I'm not 100% sure. But please take make note of it in case of emergency. Will do. Okay, now I'm ready for the story. So, tell me what happened. She's a better storyteller than me. That little lazy point. <laughs> Alright, so there's this girl. Oh, time passes. And that's about it. Hmm. Hide. Oh, hide. You never change, do you? <laughs> oh, both of you are gonna judge me for being honest now. Dude, honesty is good and all, but, you know, try not to be a dick. I put, uh, tea, milk, and honey. Or, ginger, sorry. Tea, milk, and ginger, I think. Uh, I don't remember, actually. Whoops. <laughs> Listen to her, Hyde. She's got a good point. Ugh. Not you, too. I was a bit surprised, though. Usually, you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actively avoid it. Heh. <laughs> you do know me. Little, tiny little smile on his face. We've been friends for years. Yeah, of course. I don't know why I got involved in that discussion. I guess the vibe of this place has seeped into me. I understand. This place does have that special magic. Not exactly a good magic, judging from the reaction I received today. You may be right, but there are better ways to say what you have in mind. Anyway, I've got to go. So soon? It's past midnight. I need to get some sleep. Take care on your way, Freya. Sleep tight. See you guys. Bye, Freya. Why? Oh, it saved it for me. Thanks. Ginger chai latte. Wow. What? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. This thing. Hey, I got leveled up. Self-summary. Veteran. Oh, veteran. Now we're here in a hospital. Cool stuff. Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. What did you want to talk about when you told me to meet you here? I was just bored. And that's the surest way to make you come out. Seriously. I thought the story from Freya was enough. To fill your daily dose of interaction. Well, it was. Something, indeed. Hmm. You said something about being my friend for years. Yes, why? Do you ever wonder what we'd be like if we hadn't met? What do you mean? <laughs> Forget it. It's late anyway. I need to get back. Huh? Alright, Tay. Thanks for the evening. The pleasure was mine. Bye. Okay, he's gone. He waited all that time for his friend and he left. Okay then. What was that? You know him better than I do, Mr. Gala. Hmm. Care for the drink to end the day? <laughs> sure. Wow. Bitter heart. Shadows will help you try to hide. <laughs> what? It looks like ginger, cinnamon, and star anise. Coffee dog. It's Saturday, September 26, 2020. The Evening Whispers. Atlantic countries plead for land folk to send help instead of trash. Ha. Huh. Opinion. Who watches the Watchmen in Seattle? 
Cats are the best creatures on earth. Researchers have proven. <laughs> Cats are the best creatures on earth. It's been backed by science. Well, oh. Um, welcome, spaceman. Hello there. Good evening. Good evening, sir? Ah, the usual Earthling linguistic problem. We will never get used to it. Um, is it okay if I call you sir? Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. We do not mind a bit. Do you want to order anything, sir? Oh yes, we have to communicate our order. Please pardon us. Um, what do you recommend? We will not be able to taste the difference anyway. Uh, what do you mean? It is alright. Forget it. What is the most expensive drink here? Uh, everything's the same price in this coffee shop. Really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far. And you decided on what to order then? Okay, we would like to order. Anything. Anything? Anything. And I'm confused. What are you? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> okay then. Warm. Cinnamon. Honey. Brew it. What is it? I have made a cinnamon honey tea. Serve it! I don't know! <laughs> your drink is ready, sir. I hope it's to your liking. Don't worry, it will not matter to us. Okay, let us drink this. Uh, what is happening? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes? Uh, nothing. Okay. Um, excuse me, sir. Yes? Why did you put your finger in the drink? That is a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yes, drinking it. Uh. <laughs> oh yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organs to drink. We use our appendages to drink. Usually, a polypropene drink ap apparatus is provided for us to use. Pardon? It is what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. You mean a straw? <laughs> yes, we wonder why earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly, you can drink without it. Yet, the plastic stick apparatus was provided on 87.6% of all drinking occasions we encountered. And it has become one of the biggest single-use pollutants, pollutants of your planet. Anyway, how do you drink with a straw? The same as we just did. But thanks to the plastic stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendages into the liquid mixture you call drinks. It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthlings for decision-making processes. <laughs> Don't think we'll envy this. Hey, you see. I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hands on a straw. Affirmative. Um, by the way, you said you just arrived. Where did you come from, sir? Far. It would be too complicated to tell you all the details, but we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. What kind of mission? Find what the Earthlings call a female. And then? Breed. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you came from a faraway place to find a date? Date? Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. No, I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission does not have anything to do with fruits. Er... I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. Oh, pardon us again. Your language is extremely confusing sometimes. Don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own languages. Earthlings really need to work on their communication. There are so many ways to make communication more direct and simple. 
Of all the places we have been to, this place has the worst communication methods. Can't argue with that. So, how's the mission so far? Not good. We are using this unique communication application. According to our data, it is the biggest source of breeding interaction on Earth. Although, the success rate of the breeding is not as high as the interaction. Huh? I've never heard about- Wait. Are you talking about a dating app? This system uses a fire symbol as their sign. You are talking about a dating app. But again, we found some contradictions in the application. What do you mean? According to our understanding of the application, it requires that the person that interacts with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. If you swipe right, it means you want to breed. Uh... And then when two interactees swipe right between each other, they can commence the introduction to the breeding process. It didn't go well, I assume. Most of them started communicating with very big letters on the communication platform. And they said some words that cannot be considered proper. I... I don't know what to say about that. But you said most of them. Some of them actually did not get mad. Oh, some of them are laughing with text. Did you get to meet them? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear. But some did. Yes, but we got confused with the way they communicate. No outcome from the meetings, even though we decided to go to various recommended places according to our database. And this coffee shop happened to be one of those recommended places? Yes. Interesting. Then you're here to meet someone? Yes. But she should have arrived some time ago. Maybe each Earthling has also has different interpretations of time. You're right about that. <laughs> Good evening, miss. Evening. Would you like to order something? Cafe latte, please. What? How do I make that? What is that? Ah. <laughs> Milk. Two milks and one coffee. Got it. Coffee. No, milk. Brew it. Make latte art. Or serve it as is. Boink. Your order's ready, miss. Thank you. How is it? Good. Glad you liked it. Are you here to read again, miss? Yeah, you know the drill. Please enjoy your time. <laughs> Space pad. <laughs> Can I help you with something? Oh, nothing. Pardon us. Okay. <laughs> um, um, excuse us. Yes. Are you waiting for someone? Not this again. No, I'm not waiting for anyone. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure I'm not waiting for anyone. Because we are waiting for someone from this app. And she is an orc, just like you. Look here. First, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But, is your name Urukai69? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> uh, you know what? I like that. That's good. Oh my god. Is this guy sane? Please pardon them, miss. I don't think they're from around here. <laughs> the little finger things. This is so cute. Just do 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 <laughs> So, you have not answered our question. Are you Urukai69? No. My name is Myrtle. And I never use your Urukai 69 anywhere. Oh, you really are not her. <laughs> of course I'm not. Seriously, men nowadays. If you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends or go to a club or something? But we don't have any friends on Earth. <laughs> 
Hey, when you said that he's not from around here, are you saying he's not from Earth? Well, from what I've gathered up to now, they're not from this planet. Man. Pardon us for interrupting, but when you said club, which activities are you talking about? According to the search result, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting, like this club about space or space exploration. They call themselves Trekkies. <laughs> oh my god. Forget everything I said. What time are you supposed to meet this female orc? About an hour ago, according to local time. She's bailing on you, man. What does that mean? It means big chance she's not coming. Oh no, said Spaceman. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it according to the application. Did she reply? No. Ouch. If she didn't reply, I'm 100% sure she bailed. She's not coming. I believe Miss Myrtle here is right. Hmm. That was. We are pretty objective people, but somehow Earth's vagueness has taught us a new, feel new kind of feeling. This has happened before? Many times. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but it might be a sign you need to change your strategy. Earthlings use strategies to breed? The most complicated strategies, in fact. Your kind never ceases to amaze us. If that's the case, then we do not need to be here anymore. You can stay if you like. No, it is okay. We need to report back immediately. But we will visit this place again in the future. You have a very nice place, owner. Please, just call me Tay. Thank you for your time, Tay. And thank you for your input also, Miss Myrtle. We will definitely study the breeding strategies of Earth. Sure. It's called Norm, by the way. The breeding norms. Although you could also use strategy as the keyword. We will keep that in mind. Okay then, we are off. Take care on your way. <laughs> Alien. See ya. <laughs> What's why? Yay! I'm friends with Myrtle. They're keeping me. Game developer. Ooh, nice. Game programmer working on Full Metal Conflict series. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh boy, who the hell was that? Oh, hey there, Freya. Was that an astronaut? What was an astronaut doing in this coffee shop? Drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. What kind of friend? Like of the dog? A date from a dating app. I should have been here. What does their date look like? Their date didn't show up. Ouch. Poor astronaut. Why didn't they remove the astronaut shit before going on a date? I mean, showing off your job is pretty common. But it doesn't have to be that literal, you know? I don't think they're an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. Uh, what do you mean? They might be an alien. Alien? Like, Englishman in New York alien? Or alien alien? Alien alien. Outer space? Probably. Or other dimensions, I don't know. Wow! Like, super wow. I mean, I know you get a lot of dis different visitors here, but... Wow! Life is never boring here. That's why I'm writing about it. Oh yeah, how's it going so far? The writing? Yes, the writing. With capital T and W. It's going pretty well, actually. Nice. May I see it? <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Why you got that face? <laughs> what do you mean? Can I read the draft you've written so far? No. Please don't. Why? It's not good enough. Hey, be more confident in your work. You know you're a good writer. 
Besides, if you're not that confident with it, maybe I can share some feedback. You're right. Actually, I, have a I actually have prepared a printout of the draft. So you were planning to show it all along. <laughs> I wasn't sure about it. It's the first presentable draft anyway. Come on, I know the drill. And I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. All right, all right. Let me get it out of my bag. Be honest with your feedback. I will. Now, will you hand it over? <laughs> Stop giving me that look. Um, it's okay, Freya. Uh, here it is. Thank you. Now, let's see. Do I get to read it or no? No, never mind. How was it? How was it? Let me read it at my own pace, okay? Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Time passes. Hmm. What's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character. Oh my, is the main character badly written? I don't think the character suits my personality. That's because you're not the inspiration. Too bad. They have a prime example standing in front of you every day. Prime example? You? You're like the most mysterious person I've ever met. Wait, I think someone's coming. Hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. Welcome. Would you like to drink here or take away, miss? Here, please. What would you like? Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before it's sighting. I'll order right away. No need to hurry. Take your time. Hmm. Is it okay if I order something a bit complicated? You can order whatever you like, as long as we have the ingredients. If that's the case, do you know masala chai? The tea with spices? Yes. I'd like to order a masala chai then, please. Do I know that? <laughs> tea. No, I don't. I don't know how to make that. Someone help! How do I make a masala chai? <laughs> what goes in it? <laughs> Tea? Spices? <laughs> um... How do I make this? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, okay, there we go. I looked it up. I cheated. Tea, ginger, and cinnamon. Bam. I think it's too late to make a cup of tea. <laughs> there we go, masala chai. Ta da! I believe this is the drink you were talking about. From the look of it, I think so. Let's give it a taste. This. Is it bad, miss? Oh no! It's really good! It just brought back some memories. I hope they're good ones. Oh, they certainly are. They certainly are. Huh? Where were we? The main character. The character feels very you. You bet. If the reader knows me, they'll notice right away. Is that okay? Sure, why not? Sounds so narcissistic. Don't worry about it. They won't notice it unless they know me personally. And having the main character think like me makes it easier to write. If you say so. Uh. Sorry. Hm? Did you say something? Yes. Sorry for interrupting. Are you a fiction writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. Well, yeah, I only write small scale fiction. Short stories for the newspaper, or non fiction stories about people in this town. She's writing a novel right now, you know. In fact, I was just reading the draft for it. Hey! Wow! 
How many books have you written? Well, this would be my first book, if I finish it. I've always wanted to be a fiction writer. But conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer. And even I can't use complex words like conjure just like you did. A lot of people said that my vocabulary is uncommon. What do you do? Uh, what's your name again? Ah, oh, pardon me. My name's Aqua. Hi, Aqua. I'm Freya. Hi, the barista here is Tay. Greetings, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. So yeah, what do you do? Um, I'm a researcher at the university. I also make games in my free time. Oh, she's a gamer too! <laughs> hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know? <laughs> Thanks. You said you can't write. But research papers need a lot of writing skills, right? Indeed. But it's descriptive writing, not narrative writing. What kind of field are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. What? No way! Dude, that's cool. so cool! That's what I'm interested in! Anyways. Whoa! It involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Not something the median will cover, I guess. It wouldn't attract many readers. Oh my! I forgot you're a journalist. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> Come on, you don't have to worry so much about everything. It's alright. Excuse me for interrupting. Yes. You said you're a researcher in computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for 3D environments? I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did you read it? I did. It was pretty important for the project we're working on. Um, may I ask what kind of project that is? It's a video game series called Full Metal Conflict. Are you kidding me? You work on FMC? Oops. I'm sorry. I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. Don't be. It's nice when you meet someone who likes the things you work on. I love that series so much. My name's Aqua, by the way. Oh, you already knew that. My name's Myrtle. Er, what do you do on the project? I'm one of the technical artists. Ah, uh, no wonder. Yeah, I don't want to intrude on your discussion any further. But could I ask for your business card or something? Me and some friends have something we want to discuss. We submitted our queries through your department's contact form, but we haven't received any replies. Oh, yes, that happens a lot. The form sends the queries to another department, and sometimes it takes them a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. Of course. Should have expected that. I don't have my card with me right now, but, um, we can swap email addresses if you want. Sure. Here's my email. Yep, got it. This Full Metal Conflict, oh, uh, this Full Metal Conflict series you two are talking about, is it the same series that's getting a movie adaptation soon? Yeah, that one. To be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Nonetheless, Hollywood. They have the budget for the flashy visuals, but I doubt they'll do the series justice. Why? Because some games tell their stories in a unique way, and some stories can only be told through this medium, and FMC is no exception to that. Interesting. Do you play video games? Well, not that much. I usually play weird, obscure art games. The type of game you might see in, art, in an art gallery. Really? That's weird. You're not the first to say I'm weird. It's not that. Usually people that play art games are gamers that are bored with the current state of the video games. That's true. But I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to mainstream games. Hence, a lot of players are not gamers, and they're more accessible to play, but harder to perceive. Understanding them requires a whole different level of many things. Eh, sorry, I rambled on for too long, but at least that's what I think. Good boy. Yeah, that's a really good perspective. I play those types of games thanks to people I hang out with. Yeah, you got the look of an artsy hipster, you know. Nailed it. 
So you understand my point about the adaptation, right? Kinda. Anyway, I need to go back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow on, about our question. Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to get home. We can walk to the bus stop together if you want. I hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Just Myrtle's fine. And of course it won't bother me at all. Shall we go now? Sure. Thank you so much, Tay. And you too, Miss Freya. Good luck with the writing. You take care on your way, okay? Will do. See you around, folks. Please be careful on your way back. A lot, a lot, a lot of people. <laughs> So, yeah, that was a nice talk, but you haven't given me proper feedback on for the draft yet, and I could see you were reading it on and off. Well, it's kind of good. <laughs> Seriously, that's it? I'm not an editor. <laughs> Did you expect me to have a list of notes for you? Yes. Really? You're mysterious. That much is true, but I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the expressions you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? Admit it. Okay, you got me. But this won't be short, and I will be really honest about it. Ugh. Well, the night's young. Bring it on. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Hotter and more bitter than hell itself. <laughs> Good description for an espresso. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Actually, I think I'm going to end the stream here. This is a long stream. Um, but this game is a lot of fun. Like, I'm super invested in all the different stories that are going on. So, yeah, I will definitely be playing this again soon. But until then, I think this will be it. How do I exit? How do I get out of here? Save game. Save. Main menu. How do I? Which one is on? on ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. So have a good night, everyone, and thanks for stopping by and watching the stream. And I hope you all have a very good night. Goodbye.